Hey everybody, I wanted to make this video primarily as a timestamp for my me to look back on if and when I fall back into a dark place. This is my true self timestamp. So, for a while, I was in a really sad, dark, depressed state, and I got to one of the lowest points that I've ever been in my life. And when I'm in those low spots, I can't see a way out and I literally forget I forget about the peace and tranquility and power that I carry within myself when I'm in the space right now and so I thought that I would make a video so that when I'm struggling, I can look back and, and watch this and see that I'm getting closer and closer to becoming who I always was and who I was meant to be. And that I don't have to be lost in the darkness. So a couple of days ago, someone very dear to me suggested that we go on a walk together and that she would show me some places that she thought might be healing to me. And this is one of those places. I'm really surprised that I had never discovered it before, that I had never been here. There are just these beautiful rock sculptures all around me, <laughs> like as far as the eye can see. And when I was walking with this person and she took me here, I fell to my knees and I broke into tears because I just felt this healing energy. On a lot of these sculptures, there are notes that other human beings have written various messages on and put them under a rock for safekeeping. And as I read some of these notes, I see that there are people that come here from all over that feel similar things, have similar fears, desires, hopes, dreams. And after I left this wonderful place, I started feeling better. And I realized that I really need to spend more time in nature. So yesterday and today, I've come back here by myself. And I've taken it really slow and I've stopped and looked and listened at all the squirrels and birds. And once in a while I stop and just put my hands in the dirt. And being out in nature and spending time in nature, for me at least, is causing a certain kind of magic to happen. I think that being alone and taking time to reflect and really discover who I am 
is, is necessary right now in life. I've spent so much time abusing myself, telling my th myself horrific things that I would never say to another human being. And through doing introspection and deep work, I'm learning that there's this part of me. Sometimes it seems like a large part of me, but it's not actually my true self. It's just a part. I named it Brutus, but for whatever reason, Brutus wants me isolated. It, it wants to prove that I am unworthy of love and I'm going through a process of forgiving Brutus and befriending Brutus and coming more and more to the realization of my true self. The person that I am right now in this moment. The person that is worthy of love and acceptance. The John that can do anything that he puts his mind to. anything. Even though sometimes I don't want to admit it, whatever I have a desire to accomplish, I do. That's one of the, the reasons why I learned how to ride a unicycle. I went to circus camp when I was 10 and they had a bunch of different activities that I could have participated in. I could have learned to, you know, walk on stilts or be a clown or juggle or a whole variety of different things. But I saw those unicycles and I knew in my heart, I'm going to learn that. And I devoted myself to it the entire week I was there. And, and by the time it was over, I could ride without holding on to something. The same thing applies to me in a cycling the world. I know in my heart I'm going to do it. There's, there's just no mistaking or questioning that fact. So whenever I inevitably find myself in a space of feeling hopeless and like I want to give up on my dreams, I can come back to this and see that inevitably with work, with effort, I will get back into this place that I am right now. I decided that I'm going to come back here, if possible, every day. Um, I meditated for half an hour, just listening to all the wonderful bird songs and the sounds of nature. I'm really grateful that I get to live in such a beautiful part of the world. There are so many places here where <laughs> I can experience this. I think the longer that I meditate for consecutive days, easier it's going to be to let those fears of the future and regrets of the past just melt away and just live in this moment right now. Because that's all we ever have right now. I've really been noticing that how I sleep, whether I get good restful sleep or whether I get poor sleep, has a very real effect on my mental health. And if I can learn how to do things like this, you know, early in the morning, if I'm feeling bad, just doing something to counteract that so I could 
turn my day around a little bit. Um, learning to do those things would be just invaluable. So powerful. So this is all just a huge learning process. And with only having uh, 15 and a half months clean, I expect myself to be way farther along, and that's just absolutely ridiculous. I'm already accomplishing so much, and I'm starting to be able to just kind of relax and enjoy this process of growing and learning, and, and that's beautiful. I'm beautiful and I'm worthy of this life. And as long as I stay on this track, things are gonna happen that I could have never imagined in my wildest dreams. So, I bid you farewell and I hope that you have a wonderful day.